What's up guys, I'm here in San Diego, California, and I've been traveling a lot over the past month, so I just wanna make a brief video about the do's and don'ts of traveling and ways you can really get the most out of your traveling experience. So what's worked best for me so far is using Audible or any sort of audiobook service because there's a lot of downtime in traveling, whether it be waiting for planes, waiting for planes to take off, being on a flight, and a lot of times it's not convenient to be reading. Uh, for me, I have a hard time reading on planes with all these other distractions or in airports where there's so many other things going on. So Audible has been good because I can stick in my headphones and do whatever I need to do, whether it be walking through the airport, just waiting there, eating, whatever it may be. It's very convenient and very conducive to a progression and learning environment with the travel. So they kind of go hand in hand. You can kind of get more bang for your buck instead of just sitting around waiting all the time. Um, another thing that's been very helpful for me is starting a body weight workout routine. So before I left for Utah, which was the first one, um, I focus on creating a body weight routine that I could take with me over the next month while I wouldn't have access to a gym or weights or a rock wall, any sort of thing I would normally do. So doing a lot of pull-ups, um, chin-ups, push-ups, abs, and running, all sort of calisthenics that can be transferred anywhere you don't really need a gym for. So that way I can track my progress, but still at the same time stay in shape and progress with my goals and moving forward with my fitness. Um, because obviously if I was doing a weight training program, I wouldn't be able to continue that because most of the places I've gone haven't had gyms. Um, and then also trying to get a good sleep schedule down is something that I wish I did better, but I've gotten better over the course of this month. And I started off in Utah where we were sleeping probably four, five, six hours a night at most. And with the time changes and everything, it can really mess up your internal clock. So now that I've, this, now this is my third trip going from Boston to Utah, to Boston, to Mexico, to Boston, and now here in San Diego. Getting down the sleep routine has been crucial to being able to have energy and being ready for the day and doing everything I want to do on these travels. And another thing that I think I could have done better, however, is bringing my, I wish I brought my supplements with me. There's been a lot of change with my diet because I have been going to so many different places and they have all these different foods. So I wish that I had brought the supplements with me um, so I could have some sort of consistency with my everyday life because I've been changing so much. So I think the key is, as we harp on in many other videos, is having that consistency and having a staple. And I think the staple for me would be a sleep schedule um, supplements, which is again something I wish I brought the Audible. So using my time well, and I like to read and I like to be learning and progressing. So that's been again a very positive thing for me to have. Um, and then bringing a neck pillow on the plane has been very good for that sleep cycle. Sleep cycle, because with all the time changes, as I was saying, your body can get really messed up, and then taking all these red eye flights. Um, it's really good to use that as a time for restoration as opposed to exerting energy because I think we all would much rather use our energy at the actual destinations rather than on the plane or waiting for the plane. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. just want to share, the, again, the do's and don'ts, things that I've learned, things that I wish I did uh, for next time. So hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be, as usual, releasing videos on a weekly basis. and. Until next time, I'm Rob and we're the Well Bros. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Um, Dennis will be also putting out a, his own video because we're not traveling together on this one. So be, be ready for his video. So thanks for watching.